back with success in real estate. So today what I want to talk about is not only, first of all, we, I speak about often with my agent, trying to identify who is your client, who is your ideal client, who are the people that you are going to have the most success with, who are the people that are, you are going to trust and respect you and listen to you. It's probably your sphere, but a lot of people say, well, I don't have a huge sphere. So you need to work on getting people into that sphere and into that fold of trust. But even more importantly is do those people know you want them as a client? That is huge. Why would you assume that anybody knows that? We're all busy. We're all going a million miles an hour. One of the things I tell my agents often is don't even assume that your mother's going to give you a referral. If your mother doesn't think that you can handle a referral because you're too busy with the kids or you're too busy with you know after school activities or some things going on in your personal life, you're not gonna get the referral. She's gonna list her house with you. We're gonna buy a house with you. But she may not go out of her way to tell the woman next to her in the nail salon, oh, if you're not using my son or daughter, you're not gonna have as good of an experience. You need to make sure that every single person, number one, knows that you want them as a client or two, knows that you're not only wanting the business, but you can handle the business better than anybody else. Some of the ways of doing this are by having business conversations. No one or two important things that are happening in your local real estate market, on a state level, on a federal level, in real estate. That you can have great, impressive business conversation that's gonna differentiate yourself from other people. Leave an impression, leave, wow, this is a knowledgeable person who really understands the real estate market. Follow up, simply telling people, instead of giving out your card to everybody, right? We always think that that's the way to get people to know we want them as a client. Here's my card, here's my card. But guess what every other agent is doing? They're giving out their card. So I'm challenging you next time, instead of giving out your card, get their card and tell them, I'm gonna follow up with you on Monday at three o'clock. And then what do you do? You put that in your calendar and Monday at three o'clock, you follow up with them. That is how somebody's gonna know you want their business. So this is Jennifer Marr and Success in Real Estate. If there's anything I can do to help you sell more real estate, please don't hesitate to contact me.